I just had my first boxing match um, a couple weeks ago at 53. I fought uh, in Dubai against this 28 year old kid that they uh, flew in from London to uh, take me out. And um, it was- uh, How do you do? I, I, uh, look, it was, uh, it was quite an experience, I have to say, Peter. Um, I've been training martial arts for 20 years, but I never actually had a fight. And it was always in the back of my mind. Um, crazy thing is, Peter, is I wasn't ready at 40 to mentally get in the ring. But now that I'm 53 and now 54, I could actually mentally get in the ring because I, I looked at it as just a risk that's gonna take me to a new level. And I knew it was just a fear that if I pushed through, I would, I would, I would become a better person. So weirdly, like I was mature enough to do it, but then technically I, I was in worse shape, but I was actually probably in better shape. And you know, I've worked with some great people when it comes to health and longevity. And uh, I went in and gave the young man a good run for his money. It was a, a split decision. Uh, which gives me the rematch, which is coming up, I think, in four months. But it was a really um, quite quite a stark contrast, and the audience really got behind it because it was a 28 year old versus a 54 year old. It was my first fight, his second fight, and um, it was just really wild to watch. And Peter, the whole time I was thinking is, is that my dad would have never ever been able to do this, no matter how disciplined he was. I don't think there was the knowledge or the products or yeah. anything. Now I can. And I'm just wondering, you know, my kids, which I think are young, kind of like yours, what will they be able to do? But it was a really interesting um, experiment, let's shall we say. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm uh, uh, I'm 64, young man. So, uh, but I'm at the top of my game. You know, just before I came here, I was in the gym working out. I work out five days a week. I focus on getting uh, as close to eight hours of sleep as I can. Uh, I have a very... Uh, clear and strict diet, minimize sugar, you know, 150 grams of protein, um, you know, whole plants, uh, a, a set of supplements. I just put out a book uh, called uh, Longevity Guidebook, How to Slow Stop and Reverse Aging and Not Die from Something Stupid. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I don't need to make money on books. So I give the book available at cost and people can go to longevityguidebook.com and get the book at my cost of uh, of uh, of acquiring it uh, so uh, please do and in the book i really walk through what i consider the fundamentals of maximizing your health today now when i say you know don't die from something stupid um we're at the at the inflection point of a health span revolution so uh, we're about to see uh, a fundamental shift in our understanding of aging, how to slow it, stop it, reverse it. It is coming principally from uh, breakthroughs in AI. Uh, we are a collection of 40 trillion human cells on average. Each human cell is running five to 10 billion chemical reactions per cell per second. Um, and it's almost impossible for any human to track all of this, any human physician to understand. It is impossible for any human to, to understand this. But uh, AI will be able to understand it. And as a result of that, understand what is the root cause of aging. And for, for Brian Rose, what is the best supplement and medicines that are going to impact you and maximize your cognitive and physical abilities. So that's coming. Um, you know, these are the teams competing in the X Prize. These are. Uh, How do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. This has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside 
my view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club. An explosive number of strategies and approaches coming out of out of AI. Uh, and so your job as we head towards this future <clears throat> um, is to maintain the best health you can. So when we reach this point of what's called longevity escape velocity, where for every year that you're alive, science is extending your life for more than a year, that you're in, in solid health to take advantage of these, right? So um, in the book, I speak about from a diet perspective, from the food you eat, I'm, so, I'm extremely careful about what I let into my body in the same way that I'm super careful about what I let into my mind, you know, who I spend time with, what I read, what I watch, what I listen to. <clears throat> um, so, you know, uh, the book covers the fundamentals of sleep, uh, of diet, of exercise, of mindset. One of the things I'll just share with the listeners right now, one of the things you can do immediately that changes the game. Um, easier said than done, but it is, it's fundamental, is uh, changing from a pessimist to an optimist. Hmm. Uh, there was a study uh, published in the National Academy of Sciences of 69,000 women, 1,500 guys. And the study uh, basically uh, attuned for socioeconomic differences between the individuals. And it showed that pessimists, or I put it in the positive sense, optimists lived 15% longer than pessimists. It's a double dividend. So just your mindset can shift how long you're going to live. That's a lot. I mean, if it's an 80 year, 80 year average, that's 12 years, right? Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. So that, that alone is the first, is one of the first suggestions. Diet, what is it? Let the food heal. Yeah, di diet is, listen, sugar is a poison. I hate yeah. to say that. Minimizing sugar in your diet. Uh, we are eating uh, 50 times more sugar today than we did in, in centuries past. Uh, it's in everything. And that sugar is a neuroinflammatory and a cardiac inflammatory. The number one molecule that correlates with heart disease isn't LDL or HDL or triglycerides or LP little a, it's sugar. It's what is your hemoglobin A1C levels. So, uh, you know, I'm seem super careful there. I'm consuming whole plants. I attack plants, you know, as much as I can. And, uh, you know, I added 10 pounds of muscle about 18 months ago. And my job now is to maintain it. I'm probably at my all-time high in terms of muscle mass. Um, and there's a correlation between muscle mass and longevity. And the way to maintain it is, for me, five days in the gym. Not a long time, right? I was in the gym for 40 minutes this morning, but hard at it for 40 minutes. Um, creatine as a supplement for supporting muscle growth. Uh, the high levels of protein. Um, and you know, though that, that works for everybody, you have to, it's a lot easier if you're in your twenties or thirties to add that muscle mass and maintain it, than put it, add it on in your fifties and sixties, but you can, and it, it's a game changer. Yeah, you definitely can. Um, I guess I'm living proof of that as well. I think Bobby Kennedy said the same thing the other day that sugar was poison and, uh, the New York times just ripped him for that. Um, does that surprise you? And are you a fan of the Make America Healthy movement, or at least are you a fan of the idea that we're talking about it? Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, Make America Healthy again. I think our food system is destroying us. I think that um, it's it's a sin what we have allowed factors to produce, and you know our kids' cereal should have black box warnings on them, and the the shit that we eat, the you know the the hyper processed foods um you know uh it's it really is killing us and costing the u.s government and the population precious years and and you know trillions of dollars hey i know investing in crypto is scary it takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club. 
so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investor club. Pull the trigger. Let's do this.